What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and easy loading screen. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be using just a main menu scene that I created and I have actually a tutorial on. So if you want to check it out, I will be leaving it in the description. But of course, if you have your own UI, your own main menu, it will work of course too. It's literally like two lines of code. So. Um, basically, just go into any folder that you like. In my case, I have, uh, you know, it organized and I have an UI folder. So we're going to create a new widget. So just right click, go to user interface, widget blueprint. And it's going to be just a normal user interface. Okay. It's a normal user widget. And I'm going to call it just OGP loading screen. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up. So when it's open, it's going to add a, uh, what you said, a canvas panel into here. And then what we're going to do is just add, uh, just, I mean, you can choose the design of course, of course. In my case, I'm just going to add a normal image on here and just make it cover the whole, uh, loading screen. And so it's going to be from position, the anchor is going to be full and offset zero zero and then dun, 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 dun. there we go so now it's fooled up and i can change the brush into another more other image so for example i'm just gonna put it so it's gonna be just kind of black just dark and then i'm just gonna have a text that um up here is gonna say loading oh let's <laughs> spell that wrong loading there we go it's gonna be a bit bigger like this and then the font it's gonna make it a bit bigger and just make the anchors fit on the corners there we go so it can scale correctly and then there's a really cool thing called a throbber now there's two kinds i like using the circle throbber and you can just drag it into normally it's the right hand side of the corner and you can see like it's the loading uh, thing up from the you know kind of a uh, loading screens in games that's really cool you can change the number of, of them and you can also make it so uh there's different periods and you can yeah customize it a lot um so yeah that's pretty much it um just also put it in the anchors but that's pretty much our loading screen done so now what we have to do is go into our main menu panel so when we click the button we're going to do something in my case i have already set up here a open level by name i'm just going to copy the name and delete it to show you guys so using the button of play i just added a unclicked event and then um basically we're gonna create a new widget which of course is going to be the uh, loading screen now before i'm going to remove all widgets so just the the only thing appearing will be the loading screen. Uh, so yeah, loading screen uh, only in players. Can it's gonna be get player controller, and then the return value. We're gonna just add it to the viewport. Now it's very important that we add a small delay of literally 0.2 seconds. So you know it just gives time to to open the loading screen before it loads the level. And then just open up the level by name. I'm just gonna place my third person map. There we go. So now we press play. And I. Um, where's my mouse? Play on here. You can see the loading screen. And now we go back into playing. So, yeah, guys, that was the tutorial. You found it useful and helpful. I know it was very easy and fast to do. But if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe. Also, leave it in the comments other armament fact tutorials you want to see. And now, yes, below that said, bye bye.